this video, we will be looking at how to calculate the number of moles if you're dealing with gases, especially gases at STP, that is standard temperature and pressure, and you want to calculate the number of moles of that gas, and you're given a volume. If I'm asked to calculate the number of moles and I'm working with gases, I can use this formula. N, number of moles, V measures volume in cubic decimeters, and Vm, which is a measure of molar volume. This formula will ultimately give me the number of moles, but remember we are only working with gases. This formula is based on Avogadro's law. What Avogadro says is one mole of every gas, of any gas, occupies the same volume at the same temperature and pressure. Now, we often speak about something called STP, or standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure, temperature, zero degrees Celsius, or 273 Kelvin, Pressure, 101,3 kilopascals. If I have this temperature and this pressure, STP, and I have one mole of any gas, any gas, whether that's carbon dioxide, nitrogen monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, hydrogen gas, helium gas, whatever I'm talking about, one mole of any of those gases at this temperature and at this pressure has a volume of 22,4 cubic decimeters. And this is a constant, and this is what we call molar volume. It's essentially a constant in our formula. That means that if I want to work out the volume of any gas at STP, I use molar volume. That tells me that one mole of any gas is 22,4 cubic decimeters, and I use the number of moles. That will get me the volume at STP. I can also use this formula the other way around, if I'm given the volume of gas at STP, and I know that one mole of that gas has a volume of 22,4 cubic decimeters, I can work out how many moles I'm dealing with. Just remember, and it's very important, that volume in this formula must be in cubic decimeters. They will often give it to you in cubic centimeters. In order to convert from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters, you must divide by a thousand. Let's take a look at a few examples using this formula. Calculate the volume occupied by 6 moles of CO2 gas at STP. Now, as soon as you see gas, we know we are going to be using this formula. N is equal to V over Vm. And as soon as you see STP, we know that our molar volume is 22,4 cubic decimeters. That is this over here. That's going to be 22,4 cubic decimeters. So all I need to do is the following. I wrote my variables down. I wrote my formula down. I substitute into my formula. Now remember, because I'm at STP, I know that molar volume is 22,4, and then I solve for V by saying six times 22,4. I get 134,40 cubic decimeters. Remember, your unit will be cubic decimeters because my constant molar volume at STP is 22,4 cubic decimeters. Now take note, if they did not mention that you need to calculate the volume at STP, they need to provide you with the molar volume. It may not be 22,4 cubic decimeters, because remember, it won't be at standard temperature and pressure. If they quote molar volume in cubic centimeters, then you know if you use this formula, your answer will also be in cubic centimeters. My second example reads as follows. Calculate the volume of 34 grams of ammonia at STP. Now, immediately, when you see STP, standard temperature and pressure, and we know we're dealing with ammonia, a gas, we know we need to use this formula to calculate volume. However, in this formula, if I want to calculate volume, volume is my unknown. I know molar volume is 22,4 because it's at STP. But how can I calculate volume if I do not know my number of moles yet? So we need to pause using this formula and we need to use the other given information to first work out number of moles. 34 grams. So I'm going to convert grams to moles. Then once I have number of moles, I can multiply that by my molar volume to get my volume of ammonia at STP. I will be using this formula first as I'm given grams, which is mass, baby M. So far, I know that baby M, mass is 34 grams. Now I need to find molar mass and I use my periodic table in order to find molar mass. I need to add the atomic mass numbers of the individual atoms in ammonia. But what is ammonia? You need to know that ammonia is NH3, NH3. 
So in order to work out the molar mass, I take the atomic mass of nitrogen plus the atomic mass of hydrogen times three because I have three hydrogens. If you need more help on how to calculate molar mass, click the link in the description. Now remember, we're trying to find number of moles because my goal is to use this formula, which needs moles, to ultimately work out the volume of ammonia. So I wrote down my formula, I substituted in my values, remember I worked out molar mass by using my periodic table, and I got two mole. Now that I've done that, I can use my other formula, which is N is equal to V over Vm. I now have number of moles, which will go in the place of N. I write my formula first, I substitute in the, va the values or the variables that I have, and I calculate my answer. So I'm looking for V, volume, molar volume, because it's at STP is 22,4, and therefore my volume of ammonia at STP is 44,8 cubic decimeters. And that makes sense, because remember, Avogadro's law said one mole of any gas at STP occupies a volume of 22,4 cubic decimeters. So if I have two moles, I will have double 22,4 cubic decimeters, which is 44,8 cubic decimeters. In the other videos in my playlist, we look at how to calculate number of moles, as well as things like concentration of a solution using some of these other formulae. Remember to check out the links in my description below for more stoichiometry videos, more chemistry, and more physics videos.